hello everyone welcome back today in this video we will see how to uh, run selenium web driver program in different browsers suppose uh, you have some programs which you are running in chrome driver and now you want to change the program in the firefox driver so before doing this whatever browser you are changing make sure that that browser is particular browser is installed on your system then only you will be able to run the selenium program on that browser so suppose you, you you are running the program on chrome driver and now you want to run the same program in the firefox driver so in that case you make sure that you have firefox browser installed on your system and once firefox browser is installed on your system that is very easy I will show you now what you have to do see browser which browser we are going to use that is defined only these two lines right one line is we are invoking the browser we are telling which browser we want to use the program and other line is we are giving the path and we are setting the system property in system.set property so here definitely only these two things have to be changed the rest everything will be the same because here driver and all same same thing we are using only because all the classes are in all the browsers all uh, all the uh, web driver classes driver classes so whatever classes we have in the chrome driver same classes are there in the firefox driver classes also so only these two lines need needs to be changed rest we don't need any changes so let's start doing one by one see here we are giving the path of the chrome driver.exe right so because you are running the program in the chrome driver now we need firefox driver right so here web driver driver is equal to new here we are creating the object for this chrome driver now so we have to run our program in the mozilla firefox so we we will change it to firefox that's it and then here let me copy paste so it, it will show you that it will be very clear that we are doing the same thing right initially hmm. now we will copy paste so you will see that there is no difference only few names will be changed that's it we will comment it all see as i have already done this one in my system so we are not getting one error i will show you which error we will give if you do it at the very first time see now we we change the chrome driver to the firefox driver and here we are getting the error because we have not import the firefox driver class so here we need to import it's very easy you need not to do anything just wherever you are getting a red line just click on that put the cursor on there automatically it will show what and all you have to do so i just imported that one now let's go back to this line so here you are giving the path of the driver class just giving the system property that's it now we will do same thing again see firefox driver name is gecko driver so here instead of chrome we will change it to gecko and we have to download the gecko driver from the net that's again free it's very easy we just have to write firefox driver install and go to that this github.com that is their official website and that will look like this see once you reach this see github mozilla gecko driver releases so now you go a little down and here you can see all the gecko drivers file so as per your system specification if you are using mac then you you have to take this mac in linux then linux and i'm using windows so i have downloaded this windows and it will come into the zip folder so see i have already done this and then downloaded it and then it came as a zip file unzipped it and i kept it into my location wherever i want to do 
I have kept it here, right? So I just took it, copy paste. Please do copy paste. Don't ever try to type it. It might, you might do some mistake and that will again lead into some error. So don't do that. And now I, what I will do that, I will just give this Gecko driver. This also, you rename it and copy paste. Don't try to type it. Otherwise, you, you might end up in some mistake, doing some mistake, some exception and all. And then you will get into some exception. And see, here in the Windows, if you are a Windows user, then extend it with the .txt extension for any Chrome driver, also any driver. And if you are a Mac user, you need not to extend it. So now I will show you this program will work in the Firefox. Same program which it was running in the Chrome browser. Now it will launch the Firefox and it will work in the Firefox. See, it is launching the Firefox window and it landed to the page. Thank you for watching my video. Hope this video have helped you to change the browser. Thank you very much.